International Rugby League returns to the Hunter Valley on the New South Wales coast for the first time since 2004 as two historic rivals go head to head. Breaking Ruben Wickey's record, Darren Lockyer's last test on home soil in the famous green and gold jersey. Well, what a reception he will receive from the Newcastle crowd. One of the greats and the last time they'll see him in a kangaroo's jersey in Australia. Well, there will be a minute silence for two former kangaroos, two former greats, before the game starts. Keith Holman sadly passed away, a veteran of 32 tests. He was also the 1971 grand final referee. And Dick Thornett made his kangaroos debut in 1963. He played 11 tests and the players will honour those two former greats. Magnificent view here this afternoon. What the? front and centre there again. I think that's the reason that Isaac starts these matches from the bench. <laughs> I can't say that. I just said it. I just said it. I oh. think it's true. I never tire of it. I have to say that. No, and neither do I. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful piece of entertainment. I'm not quite sure what it really means. It's a, I believe, a native challenge. And the Kiwis go into a huddle now as the Australians disperse down to the southern end of the ground. That breeze was quite strong, by the way, coming five players on debut okay. on the occasion of rugby league history as Darren Lockyer plays his last rugby league game on Australian soil and Marshall kicks off the test match is underway Gallon brings the ball back and it will be held just outside his 10 metre line the cow played near halfway by Scott, then to the kick. And Lockyer got a kick in. He's on the ground. They, they've tested him out early. They did indeed. And the referee said it was OK, but there was a second challenge from Russell Packer, which is very, very borderline. Yeah, I will say, Sterlo, he, he tried to get Lockyer up. And Russell Packer running back. He's continually looking up. Darren Lockyer is sure he feels quite bad about it. So on the 40 metre line then with New Zealand, we'll keep an eye on Lockyer. Brown is with the ball. And Australia puts a sweep down the right side and they link up with Tonga. Tonga's gone down to the 20 metre line, back to Lockyer, across to Uate. Oh, what a thrill for the Novakaspian. Akila Uate on test debut has scored in front of the Andrew John stand. Yeah, what a moment for Aquila Uate, but it was sound by the champion, Darren Lockyer. Close to the 10 metre line. So again, there's pressure for New Zealand, and Lockyer leads the pressure. Tonga gets it away, Uate has got two! Aquila Uate has got his second try. By lock up the top, McKendry was down low. And so Smith spins it away to Lockyer. Lockyer back a straight out, sleight of hand, and Darius Boyd scores. 
the kangaroos the don't try. In there, but they want to have a look at this one upstairs. Well, they would have scored earlier in that set of six if Darren Lockyer could have gone behind Luke Lewis, who he hit short, but the defence got up quickly. But there was a three-man overlap on that occasion. It's a similar setup with Lockyer at first receiver. We're going upstairs just to have a look at if there's any obstruction involved. No, no, no. That's a decision made by the defenders. And the second man pass to Billy Slater is a good one. Darius Boyd scores. There should be no problem with that. Well, it's beautiful the, ball playing by Lockyer. It's facing sideline to sideline. He's, he's going to give up a big penalty one day. Thurston's pass floated forward. It's come down to Darius Boyd. He'll pass inside to Lewis. Lewis passes to Lawrence. And Chris Lawrence scores in the test match. Well, I don't know what kind of touch jump here. Someone was going forward. That time, Lockyer finds you are they now. And he runs it straight and hard at Foran. And Foran is oh, helped in the tackle God. there by Mannering. Smith it is, on to Thurston, and Thurston goes away deep to Slater, short to Williams, short to Lawrence, here's another try! Lawrence has scored his second try of the day. And again, perfect execution. They were given the football at the right end of the field. Three free, Moy Moy is losing the football in the, the play the ball area, and then the sweeping left side play, and you can see the New Zealand defence staggered, all coming in. In the end, it was a two-man overlap. Chris Lawrence had Darius Boyd on the outside. Not best Tiger centre three-quarter. He didn't need any help. Yeah, look, coming out now for the second, the final 40 minutes of Rugby League on Australian soil. I wonder what he's thinking. I was it, the 56th time he's worn the international jersey. A record, a world record, as we said, takes it away from Ruben Wickey. He is Darren Lockyer, the legend. And it looks so far like he's going to bring his Australian home, team home to a comfortable victory. They lead 26-0. Time now to go back to your commentary team. Wally Lewis is on the sideline. And in the box is Andrew Johns, Peter Sterling and Ray Warren. The green and gold of Australia. Shadows. Starting to lengthen across the ground from the western side of the ground. Where we broadcast from. We're ready to go. Wonderful sight here at Oz. Crowd, many of them sunbaking while they watch the football. And Australia starts the second half, but it's gone from four into Moy Moy, and there's a big clash with Scott. And Moy Moy to play the ball on the 20 metre line. Hold. All around him, and away goes Isaac Luke, into open space, he puts Packer, and Packer comes to Slater, oh good tackle, Cameron Smith was there to assist, but Slater did well, he's locked with the ball, Lock will score, New Zealand are over through their fullback, Kevin Lock scores, 26 to 4 now. Oh that's lovely work, Kevin Lock, he, he... 10 metres out from the line. Plays the ball quickly. Smith, Thurston, dummy to Galloway. Goes out to Lockyer. Lockyer dummies back on the inside. Lockyer gets it back on the ground. Slater's there. Slater to Galloway. Go, Keith. Go. I think you've got it. I think you might have it. Yes, you've got it. Galloway's name is in the semi four, and Gus Gould jumps out of his hospital bed. <laughs> Give him some more anaesthetic. Harrigan is there. <laughs> McDougall, a couple of the greats. Great. Smith is counting numbers, looking for Thurston. Finds Thurston deep to Slater. Slater puts Tonga through again. And Willie Tonga goes in to get one for himself. He's been part of several, but now he picks up one all for himself. 36 to 6 with 12 to go. Beautiful set play again from the Australian team from the middle of the field couple of second man plays and have a look at Billy Slater, he sums it up beautifully. This is why he's one of the great fullbacks in the modern era. Back to Smith and gone to Prompt and now to Watmo. Watmo goes deeper. Back to Thurston, there's the gap. It's gone to Lawrence, Lawrence down the left side. Darius Boyd sets himself for the line. Will he step? Yes he does and Darius Boyd claims his second try of the day. And the gallon.
on the dares, are they the carry back? Which he's done plenty of today. 14, 15 tackles and 15 hit ups. And it seems that uh, Darren has played his last minutes on Australian soil, although how many replacements has he used? We've got 12 interchanges in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Tim Sheens puts Darren back out there just for the close, the close of this game. He was offside and he's given the penalty, has he? Or is he putting a string down? I'm not quite sure. He's giving the penalty. Ball came off Lewis Brown and Benji was then in an offside position. So he must have ruled that Benji knocked the ball backwards. Play in the game. It's a gauge away from Isaac Luke. On to Nathan Feen. He puts a kick up into the corner. Up they go. Look, uh, can't get to it. And the ball goes in touching goal. So Australia win the test match here in front of a record crowd at Osgrid by 42 points to six. The final game on Australian soil for captain Darren Lockyer. 42 to six. They bagged eight tries to one in victory here today.